Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider Man. Good morning. Happy Sunday to y'all. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, I picked this up at an antique store. Um, I honestly don't even know if this is meant for shaving or maybe for cutting hair. Um, but it does have the brand name Radio on it. And I know there are some single edge razors for shaving that are radio brand. Um, so that leads me to believe that maybe possibly this was meant for shaving. Um, it, uh, it's a little bit difficult to hold on to. Um, the bottom, it, it, it's just one solid piece of metal that's just folded over onto itself. Uh, and you can see right here there, the edges are folded together, but right here there's a little bit of a gap. Um, so that's where I can kind of put my thumb and hold on. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to grip this while I'm shaving yet, um, either like this, or I may switch to a grip like this or something. Um, but it does, um, tend to want to roll. So I, I don't know if this is going to be the optimal grip. Um, it is, uh, very smooth and rounded on top. So again, it, it doesn't lead to having a super good grip on this. Um, but it is about the right size for a gem single edge blade, which I've put in there. Um, I did n mute the corners uh, just with a uh, nail file. Uh, I just took it and uh, hit the corners just a little bit because those corners are sharp and I didn't want them to bite me and cut me um, as um, seems likely um, using this style of razor with that blade. Um, so I did take that little teeny precaution. Um, I did cut myself a little bit on it. I just wanted to, I just wanted to touch it just to see how sharp the actual corner was and it just sunk straight into my finger. Um, so that was not smart. But for our soap today, uh, I'm going to use my Clown Puke uh, conglomeration soap. But what Clown Puke is, is basically just a mix of every soap that you've got or uh, leftover samples or just whatever. It's just a whole mix of tons of different soaps. Uh, th there's probably 30 or 40 different soaps in here. And the weird part is, um, so I was building up a, a separate, I was building up one tub and I filled it. So I just separated it out into two separate tubs. Um, so there's probably at least 40 different soaps going on in here. Um, but really, it doesn't matter, like, ever since I started this, um, I, my compute tub started with samples. I had tons of samples that I would amassed over the years from different pass boxes, different trades, um, PIFs, whatever. Um, I had this huge mass of samples, and a lot of them I knew I wasn't going to get to. I wasn't going to use it by itself. They were just sitting there. Um, some of them were drying out, and... I heard about the idea of making a clown puke tub, and so I just decided to start my own with those. Now those initial probably 15 to 20 samples went into a tub, and uh, after they sat together, they kind of, the scents blended, and they just kind of had this really awesome scent. Like, I can't pin it down because it has who knows how many hundreds of different scent oils in them from the 20 different <clears throat> soaps. Each one has several different uh, individual notes going into it. Um, and it just had this really nice aroma. Now, the weird thing is, is no matter what I add to this, no matter what scent goes into it, the scent of the tub seems to be about the same. This smells exactly to my nose like when I very first created this. So to me, that's pretty interesting that I can add other stuff to it um, and the scent really doesn't change. Um, and the uh, the name Clown Puke, uh, you can kind of tell from this one, just comes from the fact that you got tons of different colors going on. You know, you got little bits of green, little bits of pink, some black, some brown, some white. Um, so the, the more uh, range of colors you can find in your soaps that you use to make this up, um, the, the kind of cooler it's going to look. Um, <clears throat> now, another cool thing is, 
and I'm gonna, I, I pick the brush that I have that most matches uh, Clown Puke. This is my Oz shaving brush, Polychrome. Um, I thought this would be a good match for the Clown Puke. Um, now the interesting thing is that, um, you know, some of the soaps that are in here are tier one or elite soaps. Some of them are tier two soaps. But the interesting thing is that um, the lathers that I get out of this tub are just amazing. <clears throat> you know, it borrows on <clears throat> all the high points of all the soaps that go into it. And it's, you know, nothing drags it down. Just everything seems to be there to bring it up, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, again, I just get stellar, stellar lathers from this. And so I look forward to continuing to add to this. Basically, um, the way I have been adding to this is anytime I get a sample, uh, I will use the sample once or twice to test the soap out individually. And then whatever's left after one or two uses just gets put into uh, one of my compute tubs. So that way the clown peak tub is basically ever growing, ever evolving. And already I've just got awesome lather. Um, so some people create um, elite clown puke soaps. So what they do is they go to their den and they find all of their favorite soaps all of their best performing soaps and they just pull out a sample and they make their clown puke soap with that. So really when you're starting with all of your favorite soaps and all of the best performing soaps, what results is just going to be amazing. All right, moment of truth. We are going to give this a go and see how it works. I'm pretty careful with this. Not really sure what it's gonna do. It seems to be working all right. It's just, uh, I don't know, that first pass doesn't seem like it's super close. Seemed kind of weird at first. It's getting a little bit more comfortable. I know, I'm telling you right now, this is just an experiment and I'm never gonna touch this razor ever again. Thing is just gonna go into display case when I'm done with this shave. Um, left hand not so uh, adept as the right hand, so I'm going to just uh, rub my fingers on an Allen block 
which will just help my fingers be a little bit more sticky and get a better grip on the razor. Sometimes when we shave with one hand, I don't know what to do with the other one, so it just kind of like hangs around in like a weird position. Obviously, shaving a little bit slower than normal. So, apologies, the video is going to go a little bit longer. And I may finish up with a D. I think I'm gonna do one more, one more pass, like a left to right pass. But I may just finish up with a D. In fact, I probably will. So I'll make sure we get to a really nice wet, slick lather. They're pretty awkward to hold, I must admit. I'm 
Well, the second pass is feeling <clears throat> a lot better than I thought it was going to. I do have a couple small cuts. But overall, I think it's going better than I expected. I really thought it was going to be more difficult to hold on to than it actually is. But it's not a comfortable shave by any means. That dug. A nice one right there. All right. I'm going to call that good. At least for the uh, radio shave it thingy. I'm gonna do one more pass with the DE and clean that up. And I'm gonna need some serious face repair. efficient I'm not uh, hearing a lot of hairs being cut so I think it pretty much did the job just very much not comfortably I got uh, plenty of slickness from the soap. some uh, stuff on my face. All right, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So first of all, witch hazel. Need some witch hazel.
Then we're gonna use some spike. Uh, this is literally one of the best, most healing aftershaves you can find. Ow, it's getting into the cut that's on my finger and that burns. Um, but the, uh, the healing and the health properties of the spike plant that go into making the spike aftershave are uh, really, really good. Um, the scent is, is really good. Um, it's light. Um, it's hard to describe what it actually smells like. I don't, I don't know that anybody would not like it. It's just kind of light, somewhat citrusy floral without being citrusy and floral. Um, but it smells really good, but it also um, isn't a very long-lived scent. So um, goes away quickly, doesn't stick with you, so it's, it's a good aftershave to use if you're gonna follow it up with cologne or something. Um, but also, I'm going to follow up with uh, the CBL pre-shave oil um, and just get some of those good, uh, healthy oils uh, into my skin. And I think that is gonna help my face feel a lot better. <clears throat> All right, so that was my shave. Definitely went longer, but uh, you know, when you're using a new razor, especially, uh, you know, going to a shave at style, which I'm not accustomed to using on a daily basis, uh, you definitely need to stop and take a little bit more care. Um, so just like anybody, if you're picking up DE shaving for the first time, um, you definitely want to go slow. Um, you know, if you're trying a new razor, uh, even though you may be adept with one razor, you're trying a new razor, the uh, geometry is going to be a little bit different. Just go slow with that one. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, clown puke, definitely um, try this out. Uh, if you've got samples laying around or if you've got just a spare tub laying around that's empty, um, just pull out some samples from your different soaps and try it and give it a go. Mix up four or five of them, see what you like. Um, it really doesn't matter what you put in there, just it's 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 gonna be good regardless. But uh, you know, if you pick some of your favorite soaps, you're gonna have a really good soap in the end. So uh, that's the shave. We'll see you guys on the cadre later.